no matter what my pursuit was, I had to be the absolute greatest or else. That meant I had to be uh, a superstar, which meant I had to, uh, I have to be uh, acknowledged and, uh, and not um, end up um, fading out and, and dying in the mediocrity. Underdog, a more dignified character than he was always uh, shown. Uh, they always showed him in a very campy, comical, silly mode. And she dances. She dances. Watch her as she dances. For she dances the Snow Queen, an underdog, and the Irish Mary Princess. She dances these and a whirl of her other characters, too. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to display ensembles from the time and place of Dracula. The loose-fitting, full-length white robe was gathered to a circular neck yoke decorated with a red stand-up collar. This is a woman that really wants to be a celebrity bad. In, in the old days, it was considered a big uh, achievement if you got a lock of hair from a movie star. Um, I had cut my hair some months ago, so for an extra special souvenir, I've got supplies of my hair. How about that? Supplies of underdog's hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she talks about how people uh, make gods out of people who are successful, and they just consider everyone else a loser. Like, it's just completely black and white. You're either a hero or you're a loser. And um, she's decided that she's going to be a hero. I said, well, you know, you had a good time, and you entertained the children, and you were in the parade. That's the best part of it. You have so many trophies now. She says, yeah, but nobody respects a loser. Well, there's and, always and, and next if, year. That's what um, we can say. Well, what always about next year. how about all the athletes in the Olympics who struggle so hard just to qualify, and then unless they medal, they instantly are forgotten as though they never existed. You have to be known and acknowledged uh, both during and after your life. Okay. You have to be immortal. Yeah. That's that's some pretty high standards for yourself. <laughs> And I'm still uh, considered inferior to a great many other performing artists, uh, and which makes me very ashamed that I've never appeared in any really prestigious locales like the Kennedy Center for the Arts in uh, Washington, D.C., or, or Lincoln Center in New York, or any supremely prestigious facilities for performing arts.